How's it going everybody? Here with another vlog. Do's and don'ts. Have you ever been by your pool? It's in the middle of the day and it's not on. I'm gonna give you certain tips to check right now to make sure that your timer is working properly and what to do if it's not. Okay, so here where I had our timer box, our traditional intermatic timer box. And right now it's uh, 12.30 in the afternoon. We have this timer set up where it starts at 9 a.m. and it turns off at 6 p.m. And as you can see right now, it's in the off position. Certain things that you can do to ensure that your timer is working, check for these few steps. Number one, that we do have power. If you look up in the top right hand corner, you're gonna notice that there is an opening, an oval opening. Right behind there, you can check and you can see that there's some gears way back there. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look back in that upper right hand corner, you're gonna see gears. Now if those gears, there's two double backed and another one right next to it. If they're all turning, we know that the actual timer mechanism is uh, receiving power. That mechanism that's in the back, that's actually what manages the time clock, okay? So number two, you wanna make sure that if you do see this, your pool is not on, manually throw your switch to make sure that you are receiving power to the motor and that there's no interruptions within the electricity going from the timer to the pump. So if you ever experienced this, where you're in the middle of the day, this silver arrow pointing down, this is where the time is actually how you adjust your clock to your time. As you can see, it's around 1230 and it's right on time. This should have been on. Here's what you check for. I want you to go ahead and you check your on pin. Take it off of the dial and I want you to actually check to see how the condition of the pin looks. So you unscrew the main screw, not all the way, but loosen up where it can maneuver within the dial and pull it out okay place that one on top and just for reference purposes i want you to check your off pin as well to see how that one looks so we can see the difference okay so just so you notice on this pin right here on the very bottom there's this pushed pin area. If you take a quick look at it, you can see that it is all twisted and bent in a lot of different angles. Also too, look at the positioning of where these two main pins come up together to form the triangle or the A shape. You see that, how they're off? That would cause the trippers from the back of the mechanism of the dial not to push up against this portion right here properly. Now let's take a look at this one. This is our off pin. I can tell the difference right here. It says off and over there it says on. Okay. The two positions of the pins is in separate sections. On is in the front, off is in the back. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. This pin is in very good condition. It, the two A pillars meet up perfectly and there's no bending. Look at our on pin here. It's bent, it's crooked. This is causing this timer not to turn on when we have set it to turn on. Simple fix is you can try to bend this out to try to make it look like this as much as possible or you can simply new set of pins we have some inside of here find find the pin that has says on on this is in good condition right here and go ahead and replace your on pin slide it open up the the screw to allow it to slide onto the dial. 
slide it onto the dial, place it where you want to have your pull turn on. We're gonna return ours back at 9 a.m. And we're gonna take our old off pin, since this one is it's still in good condition, slide this around, put this to the off position where we had it before. And that should do it. One way you could test this out is, you can actually grab your dial, retract it back towards you, and then the dial is uh, rotatable. So you can actually rotate it behind the on pin, push it back into place, make sure that your pin is pretty tight on the dial itself and you can wait about like 10 to 10 to 15 minutes each each line that's here is a 15 minute increment wait about 10 15 20 minutes or so if this turns on that solved your problem hopefully you like this video if you have any questions post your comments down below this is a quick fix tips and tricks on how to test to make sure that you're standard intermatic time clock is operating properly hey i want to cut right in here and say that if this tips and tricks does not work for you and for your pool uh timer then you need to give your local pool service contractor a call and have them come out and check it out for you thank you so much hit the bell notifications subscribe to my page put the comments down below do it all for me share it thank you